With our particle wind direction defined, we want to turbulize around that vector. So if we pull in the good old turbulize compound, and specifically choose the turbulize around value compound, what we're aiming to do here is to use the wind as our base vector and to add variance to it. So I'm going to bring in the turbulize around value and output the value of the wind vector as my base and input the output of the uh, turbulize vector into the add forces. The other thing I want to do is give the particles a slight upwards motion. I want to have it so that uh, they're continually being moved in the positive y direction. So I'm going to add in an additional port to hold a force and for this force I'm just going to use a simple 3D vector. And I'm going to give the particles a slight push in the y-axis. So now when I play back I'm getting some turbulence around my vector and the particles are moving upwards. So now we need to tune the, var the scale as well as the variance. So I want the particles to move within a, a rather large field, but I don't want them to move back and forth within that large field very much. So I want the field to be large, but I want their localized movement within the field to be quite small. So I'm going to increase the scale to something quite large, like 20, but I'm going to restrict their motion so that from their position they can only vary by, we'll say about 0.2 units. Also lower the y variance as well so that they don't have as much back and forth uh, back and forth motion. I'm going to also turn on the animated flag so that the particles can actually animate within their motion. They don't just pick uh, a variance factor and move along that vector. They can randomize their variance and animate along it. I'll also increase the speed of that variance a little more. So now I'm starting to get some movement within my directional vector. And we can see that the particles do die off at an appropriate time.